Now, given that both Favreau and Filoni really have their hands tied, they're very busy creators right now, and just people working with Star Wars and really trying to fulfill the fans' dreams around the world. We also have, of course, you know, Bob Iger dealing with a lot of stuff, especially with Kathleen Kennedy, since she's been causing so many different issues with both the Acolyte and Skeleton crew and a lot of other issues that are coming into play. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the kind and great support. Now, one thing that, of course, Jon Favreau has been very clear about is that the story of the Skywalkers are not coming to an end, and that he is actually very much open to doing some great things with the character of Luke, characters out there, of course, that are associated with Luke, like Ahsoka and more. And so that really brings us to exactly what's going on with Anakin Skywalker and what Jon Favreau himself had to say about Anakin Skywalker's future that I think a lot of fans are going to appreciate. Now, given that, yes, we got Anakin already in the Kenobi series by Joby Harold, and in that Kenobi series, we got to actually see the Clone Wars era flashback of Anakin Skywalker, where he's training with Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Jedi Temple. And that's something that was very well appreciated. I think that was like the peak, to be honest with you guys, about the Kenobi series, is that we had a piece of cinematography between Kenobi and Anakin that were very much catered to that prequel trilogy tone and look, and they, got, they really nailed it perfectly with that. I just felt that... They had the DH Hayden a little bit here and there. But I digress. On to the main real thing here that is actually very surprising. Has a lot to do with exactly what Favreau had to say. Now, given that Disney and Lucasfilm are preparing to make some big announcements at Celebration and D23 this year, creators Favreau and Filoni also have some big surprises up their sleeve for the fans. Now, in a recent interview with Jon Favreau, he went on to talk about something very exciting involving a beloved character. Favreau went on to state the following to the fans. So, myself and Dave are very well aware that the fans love the Skywalkers and the story of Anakin and Luke. Trust me, we listen, and I wanted to put it out there that we have been doing some pretty exciting things with Anakin Skywalker and how he will be and how we will be utilizing him in multiple upcoming Star Wars TV shows. Perhaps in one that's coming out very soon, haha. <laughs> but really, we are having a blast and we have been talking things over with Hayden and we have so much to explore with Anakin Skywalker that's going to not only fill in the gaps of certain scenes, but also adding new moments entirely to Anakin's life. Now, I want to stop here quick for a second. Now, if we take a look back at that Mando Season 3 trailer, where you do get that Order 66 flashback scene, and they're facing a door, and from what it looks like, there's a lightsaber going through the seam of the door. And it really does look like it's going to be an Anakin moment where it fills in the gaps that we saw in the hologram in Revenge of the Sith, where he's taking out the Jedi. Now, it's very possible that they will be doing that. However, Favreau really putting it out there that Anakin is in the cards to really come into play in a lot of TV shows that he's creating. Once again, kind of alluding to what we have been talking about with the leaks of how in Mando Season 4, Anakin will be coming back as a Force Ghost and, of course, in the form of flashbacks. And from what it seems, that's going to be Jon Favreau's two big ways of bringing Anakin back, given that the Mandoverse era does not take place when Anakin's alive, per se, right? Obviously not. But he will be taking advantage of flashbacks and Force Ghost Anakin. And that, to me, I think is even all the more exciting, to be honest with you guys. So that really brings us to, of course, what Jon Favreau additionally had to say about this. Now, we already know that Hayden signed a multi-show contract deal a couple of months back that allows him to appear in 10 Star Wars projects. That's 10 Star Wars TV shows, potentially. And it just goes to show you that they love Hayden, they want Hayden back, they know that Hayden is a selling point, 
and I'm all happy for him. I think that he deserves all the best. He really does. After such a long hiatus, not just from Star Wars, but from his acting career. So, on to the next thing, alright? So, he goes on to say, It's something that I have always wanted to do as a creator to focus on delivering the Skywalkers again. I did it with Luke first, and my next plan to bring in Anakin to make it go full circle. This is just the beginning, folks. Let me promise you that. We have so much content to explore involving not just Luke, but Anakin, and I am going to make sure that we deliver the best possible stories to tell to the community. We are finding ways to also bring Anakin into this Mandalorian era to also open up our options. So once again, putting it out there that Anakin is going to be another focus point of John and Dave's work in the upcoming Star Wars TV shows, the upcoming Star Wars installments, or whatever have you, that's really going to lend itself to the Star Wars community. Now, the other thing that I do want to put out there is that we already know that Jon Favreau stated that Mando 4, if it proves to be successful, he will be putting out a Mando 5 and 6, and he will be ending the series at a season 6, only if season 4 proves to be like wildly successful. And I think that's a perfect number. You know, you really don't want to go beyond that, I think, at least with The Mandalorian. You don't want to overdo things. You always want to move on and do new things and carry on with the characters and just bring them into a different show. So this whole thing about Anakin right now, all right, we already know that they're working on a Kenobi soft reboot, and that's going to basically be a season two, but not being called a season two. That's also going to bring back Anakin and Vader, stuff like that. And on top of this, we also have Jon Favreau confirming and putting it out there that Anakin will be coming back into this Mandoverse era, so to speak. And I think what he's teasing at when he said, perhaps you'll see him in something soon, I think what he's teasing at is who's behind that door in that Mando season three trailer, without a doubt. I really do believe that's what he's actually leaning towards there. And we already know that there was one piece of concept art from Mando Season 3 about maybe seven months ago that actually did involve Anakin in his Jedi robes. And it very well may be related to that moment behind the closed door. So overall, there's a lot of things happening between John and Dave. They're really trying to make the fans happy and ecstatic for the Star Wars universe, and I think that this is what you have to do. You know, you have to at least have something crazy and fun to look forward to, and to just kind of add a little bit of spice to some of these Star Wars shows, right? And that's exactly what he's doing. So overall, I'm very intrigued to see what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments, everything related to Anakin, Luke, John Favreau, you name it. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.